Well, the early mining started in the late 1800s in our area, all as underground mines. Um, it started just down the road here at Corbin, at where Coal Mountain is, um, as well as a place called Morrissey, just out of Fernie and Coal Creek, and then also Michelle, where the Elkview mine is. Mine sites uh, got a very long history uh, in the coal business, and one of the primary uh, drivers of the tech coal usage has been uh, the development over the last 25 years of the geologic modeling component. I guess the reason Moose Mountain is using mine site is well because we all came from the coal mines here and um, the mines, all of the mines use mine site. Uh, it's integral into our uh, updating uh, process. Basically when we do geologic interpretation and put in new quality data, new geographic data, uh, we do mine uh, model rebuilds. Every site does those multiple times a year. Um, we, we really can't function without mine site providing that uh, base uh, information for us. Basically, it's the only package out there that will model to the accuracy that we, we need. Coal mines choose mine site to solve the complex challenges unique to their industry. Mine site offers coal-specific modeling features and selective mining options for reporting. It handles both metallurgical and thermal coal deposits and can report and model multiple coal types within each of these deposits. For block models, MineSight is the only software package that can model unlimited seams in one project. Plus, MineSight supports multiple types of block models multiple ore percent for unequaled accuracy in complex geology, gridded seam models for stratiform deposits, and sub-block models for spatial precision. Tackle your coal needs with these MineSight products. Enhancements in MineSight talk improve complex coal modeling. Geared towards stratigraphic deposits, the new utilities added to MineSight Talk streamline the drill hole management workflow. A new smart tagging algorithm is available to make decisions based on accumulated thickness and mineability rules of a seam. Recent improvements to the MineSight Implicit Modeler offer true thickness calculations with surface outputs plus user input controlling features. The True Thickness tool has really helped uh, improve the speed of our uh, remodeling. Basically, it allows the interpretation of the hanging wall component of the coal seam uh, from the actual dips and true thickness in the drill hole database model. So you do your interpretation on the foot wall and then allow the software to fill in the hanging wall component based on how the true thickness uh, comes out of the database. Uh, we've also found that when we've implemented it at sites that have previously not used it, it's really improved the uh, accuracy of the modeling. So it's an invaluable tool uh, and it's deeply embedded within our uh, model building process. Um, you know, I think implicit modeler is pretty exciting. I, I think it's really going to revolutionize the way that complex coal models are built. You're not going to have to digitize you know 200 300 sections you know, you'll let it you'll you'll let implicit model or build your surfaces and you'll go and you'll still do the, the work you'll look at the drill hole data and if you got to make changes you you make changes but to have that initial amount of work done before you start is huge um, implicit model was actually one of the best things that we ever uh, ever happened to us because our project is unique in the sense that it has uh, it's a big area and it's uh, small seams uh, uh, which are kind of close together and has partings in them. So for us we are constantly updating our model and you know the traditional way of doing foot walls and then doing sections and then uh, creating surfaces would have taken so long. So with the implicit modeler we just update those points and then get in our drill hole database and get a new surface very quickly. So it's, and uh, for us it's kind of an iterative process. We create a first preliminary surface with implicit modeler and then we uh, review it, we clean it and then we just select some uh, parts of it and create a new surface and then try to change the control points and try to refine the surface. 
With greater spatial precision, MindSight sublocking enhances MindSight's underground solution and makes modeling even the narrowest coal seams both quick and simple. MindSight is the only software package that can model unlimited seams in one project. As the foundation for all MindSight packages, MindSight Core brings your mind closer to 3D reality. Create, manage, manipulate, and display MindSight data in 3D. Visualize drill holes, models, geometry and labels, geologic interpretations, mine designs, survey pickups, and topography. Design mining advances, define shovel dig lines, and interact directly with scheduled activities in MindSight 3D. One integrated tool for all your modeling and scheduling needs. Absolutely. There's a real benefit to the engineers and geologists being on the same platform because there's instant access to the updated information. Uh, plus, everyone's familiar with the visualizer, so they can pop up and look at a pure geology section the minute it's interpreted and understand it and work with it that quickly. We don't have to go through a configuration or a integration piece to translate it from one software to the other. So we don't even think about mine planning software. It's just the tool that they use on an ongoing basis. So from that aspect, it, it, integration of the both mine planning and geology in one tool uh, really helps speed up the information flow. MindSight Schedule Optimizer is the smart solution for generating life of mine midterm and short term schedules for coal mines. The functionality to define material groups allows you to categorize coal seams by coal type for better and more efficient material mapping and reporting. Generate a practical mining schedule by defining period constraints and targets such as clean coal tons and waste volume, as well as stockpile handling and material blending constraints. MindSight Schedule Optimizer is equipped with new features such as multiple equipment sets by material for handling different waste types and coal seams. Shovel dig rates and truck payloads can be configured by period and material type. MindSight Reserve unifies the consolidated power of MindSight's reserve engines and provides complex coal functionality and comprehensive reporting logic. MindSight Reserve covers long-term to short-term reporting logic and selective mining options are available. They enable you to reproduce stratigraphic mining methods and account for all the material present in a defined boundary. Pit, underground, working or mining cut with full control of the mining sequence. Selective mining options in combination with a defined priority mining sequence between coal seams and waste allow accurate reporting for pits that mine to a foot wall or underground workings that follow complex boundaries. Atlas delivers everything you need to make a practical and productive schedule for complex coal deposits. With new coal specific features such as selective mining and priority mining, mining cuts can be broken down into multiple activities. For example, mining coal and mining waste activities. These activities can be broken down further into more detailed activities, so you can schedule the most realistic and accurate mining sequence. Selective mining options are available in Atlas to ensure the proper reserve allocation for the mining cuts. Using the priority mining options, you can assign priorities to different coal seams and waste types in order to define the sequence of mining based on the order of deposition. Different equipment sets can be assigned to the children activities within a single parent cut. This is thanks to the new parent reserve activity types and the ability to break down the parent mining cut into smaller children activities. This establishes detailed equipment scheduling within Atlas, which also honors the correct mining sequence. Well, we're trying to make the whole process of designing a drill and blast pattern easier for people. So obviously when it's easier, it's, uh, it's more efficient. 
We're trying to put lots of nice features in there for designing uh, variable burdens, um, pre-split lines. We're going to put some blast charging and timing capabilities in there. So if you're doing a normal pop the uh, rock type of shot, or if you're trying to actually move stuff, so if you're doing a, a and move stuff, mass movement across the pit. We're going to allow you to do that, enable you to do that as well. Um, one of the nice features we're putting in is the ability to target seams. So uh, drill to a seam. Um, when you're designing your blast pattern, do through seam blasting. So if you want to stem where the coal is, you can do that as well. The ease of use of the dialogue is going to really impress people. It's uh, very quick, it's very dynamic, it's visual, there's lots of um, visual clues to how you're performing and how you're designing your, your drill holes. Uh, the ability to create really nice templates, uh, multiple templates and chop and change from blast to blast. For long range planning, uh, Mindsight's suite of tools to uh, evaluate the resource and give us a series of pit shells and uh, optimizing, uh, i.e. picking the ultimate pit shell. Uh, their tools are as good as there are out there in the business. Um, the fact that they're all integral within the geologic modeling package uh, just makes it that much easier to use. 